Hello friends, welcome again at my video tutorial. Uh, in the last uh, four months I have an opportunity to try or taste uh, three different kettles. The reason it was this that I bought uh, approximately six months ago time more and uh, this time all after three months uh, break uh, stopped working and uh, didn't heat water. So I decided to use warranty and I brought back. And uh, this warranty it should take around one month, so I decided to buy second hand uh, kettle, Bonavita. And for one month I used uh, this one. And uh, once they brought for me back uh, this uh, time or uh, after a first day what I had at home, I break again. So I brought back, I was waiting another one two weeks and uh, they already agree with me that uh, either I will uh, change for absolutely new one timer or I will um, use this or they give me voucher and I will use this one for buying some stuff. So I decided to change from timer to pillow or pillow kettle. Okay. Thank you to the situation. I had uh, opportunity to try these three various kettles and uh, um, I would like to uh, share some uh, experience with this. So if I come back to Phyllis Kettle Timer, I like it a lot. It was very light and uh, much smaller than other, approximately one quarter smaller. What was very handle for traveling as well was lighter than this fellow one. And uh, it was easy to pack uh, and uh, to my backpack and bring with me on some trip or holiday. Uh, as well, I like it uh, that it was very easily to set up a temperature, except if you didn't have a wet finger and after it was a little bit high, harder to slide on this um, uh, display, or um, kind of like this uh, touchpad, but has a timer. It was uh, very fast for heating water, extremely fast. And uh, I like this design as well. What I didn't like on this timer kettle was this, that when it was sunny or very uh, strong light, I could not see too much on this display. And as well, I didn't have good feeling from these materials. Uh, this handle was a little bit shaking in my hand. Um, it, uh, it, was not, it was a little bit free, it was not really tight. I don't know if it was this one and other kettles, but um, I'm feeling that these materials they are not the best and it was not uh, the best made. Uh, second kettle, uh, Bonavita. I did not expect too much stuff from this. I have more bad stuff around this, but on the end I was more positive of surprise. Uh, this handle was very nice and it was a very comfortable hold. And uh, in my bigger hands, uh, I feel uh, I feel this uh, kettle stable. Uh, but I didn't like this material. Uh, it was quite, uh, in my opinion, cheap made. As well, uh, it was quite uh, wide and big. It was light on the end, but big and was hard to pack and bring somewhere with me. What I didn't like on this kettle on the end was uh, that uh, uh, this heating uh, was much slower than other two kettles, like Tamar and Fellow. And uh, as well, uh, it was harder to set up this temperature, you have to play with these buttons. And many times when I get kettle out and I wanted to put back, stop it uh, holding this temperature and I have to press again. So it was quite annoying. And on the end, I get this new one, uh, fellow, you can see here on this video. And uh, generally, I mean, it's not perfect, but I am the most happy from, uh, from my decision that I done, that I changed it. Um, it's, uh, I think, the most heaviest from these old pre kettles. It's uh, bigger, it's not too wide like a uh, Bonavita. And uh, set up in, uh, temperature and dialing, um, I think, in my opinion, it's same and even more easier thanks to this uh, um, button where you can scroll up or down. 
and uh, you have as well a timer whenever I hold this one for two seconds it will change for timer and start I have it on my scale as well so it's not necessary but some, some, sometimes can be useful have two timers I put it back that I see temperature and I like this design and uh, I think materials holding and everything is uh, much uh, better than um, at other two kettles. My result is uh, invest a little bit more. It was approximately 10 euro extra for this fellow if I compare to Timor. And I think 50 or 60 euro more uh, compared to Bonavita. But you have new uh, nice design, but it looks very nice on videos, on photography, and as well. Um, it's, uh, you enjoy not only with holding and with pouring, uh, but as well with uh, viewing this kettle, this uh, coffee brewing process. And as well, what you will see, this flow, I think, has, uh, in my opinion, you have the best control from all these three kettles. Even Timer is saying that they have some kind of like special gooseneck, uh, what has uh, uh, the best control of um, flow, but in my opinion, I like it more uh, brewing and uh, pouring water and control this flow with uh, this fellow. Today I will use a timer dripper uh, with a fellow kettle and uh, I will um, uh, use 13 grams of coffee and uh, I will pour approximately 210 uh, grams of uh, water but it's a ratio 1 to 15. And this temperature I will set up back to night. Oh, it's set up already at 93. And uh, this total time is supposed to be around 3 minutes, but it's depending how it's going. I will just try to uh, keep this consistent uh, uh, pour or uh, getting out this coffee that it will consistently go out and will be not stuck too much with uh, coffee grinds. So my coffee is ready, I will go for a drink and uh, what I wanted to say, thanks for watching my video and I hope that uh, it will a uh, little bit help you for your decision and uh, see you soon, take care.